Lion fish have been decimating reef ecosystems across the Western Atlantic and may be among the most invasive marine species in history. Join the fight and learn from marine biologists and culling experts how to safely hunt lionfish and help combat this deadly invader. But before you take a giant stride into the deep blue to start hunting, watch Lionfish University's video series. Then make your first dive with an experienced lionfish culler. Even if you're a spearfishing expert, lionfish demand extra precautions because their spines deliver a painful sting that can send you to the hospital if you're not careful. The most important rule while hunting lionfish is that dive safety comes first. This means diving with a buddy who will keep an eye on you and watch for predators when you're focused on spearing. Lionfish hang out on and under ledges or in holes, so it's easy for loose hoses to get caught. In addition to standard scuba gear, you'll need special equipment to remove and hold lionfish. This containment device is puncture resistant to prevent the venomous spines from poking you. There are many lionfish containment devices for recreational and commercial use. Some are made with a hard body like PVC or plastic pipe, while others consist of puncture resistant fabrics. Test different containment devices before your first hunt to find one you're comfortable with underwater. Containment devices require maintenance. Be sure yours is in optimal working order before the hunt. Containment devices also deter predators like sharks and moray eels from stealing your prized catch and associating divers with a food delivery service. Next step, choosing a pole spear that's made for lionfish removal. There are many to choose from, so select one that works best for you. Pole spears do require maintenance. Always make sure the band is in optimal working order to make proper use of the sling. If it isn't, replace it with a new one. One trick is to have two bands on a pole spear in case one snaps while hunting. Make sure your pole spear has a paralyzer tip with at least three tines. This holds the lionfish more securely and minimizes the potential of the fish riding up the spear and stinging you as you transfer it to a container. Beginning hunters should have at least one barbed tine to hold the fish on the spear. Use your spear in accordance with local rules and regulations and experience level. Puncture resistant gloves reduce the potential for being stuck and can reduce the severity of a sting. Choose gloves that also allow a firm grip on the pole spear when in shooting mode. In addition to a standard first aid dive kit, you'll need a sting kit. Take a thermos of hot water and several reusable heat packs. Heat can denature the protein in the venom that causes pain. And be sure to include pain relievers like Tylenol and Aleve and antihistamines like Benadryl and Claritin. These help with swelling as well as pain. Now that we've covered the basics on land, you're ready for an adventure in the Big Blue. You're on your way to earning a degree in lionfish hunting from Lionfish University. And always remember this, hunters and divers are stewards of the oceans who are helping the marine environment by removing lionfish. But we have to do it without harming anything else. So take only lionfish and leave only your bubbles. Don't miss The Hunt, the next episode in our series from Lionfish University. And thanks for watching.